we've been really keen on developing our relationship with India, with our twinning with Mumbai, part of our global sort of presence of building and taking Southampton on the map. Of course, sports is crucial to that with the Aegeus Bowl and cricket, but also a wider range of sports for our universities and the work that uh, Lakbir and his colleagues have been doing. Certainly, as Southampton being at the forefront of this relationship between India and the UK, we want to make sure not only do we sort of build on the work with the cricket and everything else that's going on, but really heighten the profile and make sure that Southampton is right in the centre of this new relationship with India. So our connection as City of Culture is to really be here and get behind the, this great initiative today. Through the City of Culture bid, what we're trying to do is really celebrate our international links and that bit, one of those being our developing links with India, so whether that's through education, maritime, our port connectivity or our innovations, research and development, or in particular in this case, sport. So we know that sport is a huge part of Southampton's culture, so we're proud to be here today to really celebrate that. Yeah, the reason I came here today was to meet some of my colleagues who have been very involved in the UK City of Culture bid, particularly in Southampton, which is a huge thing for us, and to get a better sense of how sports contributes to that and what ESG are doing in that area. It is my profound pleasure to welcome you all here in this amazing Mayor's Parlour for the launch ceremony of the UK Elite Sports Group Tours from India. And this evening we will be unveiling our brochure and celebrating the 75th anniversary of Indian independence and Sanatra becoming one step closer to the UK City of Culture Bid 2025. Post Brexit and post pandemic, we are witnessing the creation of a new golden era in UK India relations and lots of new economic and partnership opportunities. And I firmly believe that businesses, universities, sports institutions, and cultural organisations in Southampton will play a significant role in delivering a new growth opportunity and helping realise the goals of the UK-India 2030 roadmap, which was agreed by our respective Prime Ministers. You will see and hear of our plans this evening to embrace different cultures, to recognise and to develop talent, and to share our values with those across the globe, and in particular, Supported by our wonderful team at Planet Education and my fellow board members, we founded UK ESG. The work that UK Elite Sports Group are doing also champions collaboration between the UK and India in the areas of sport, health and education. Sport is very important to us and our community of students is very important to us. Many of those now are coming from India and we see our partnership with partnerships with Indian universities as, as to be a, a cornerstone of, of the future. We, we look to fostering those partnerships. But that's enough about Solon. What Blackbeard and I are planning is to open the doors of Solon um, to your tour, but also to tap our expertise as well. So finally, we, we come to a close um, and in closing I'd like to thank everyone here today um, and those who are unable to attend due to a number of reasons but they're here in spirit um, and, and, and they share our sentiments. Thank you so much and have a pleasant journey.